More winning, ICE just announced major achievement in 2017 under President Trump. By Adam Casalino, Politics U.S. News for MadWorldNews.com. President Donald Trump understands the massive danger that a weak border poses to all of us. That's why ICE has been very busy in the past year. Just how busy? Well, ICE just announced what they've been up to, and it's impar uh, impressive. Because of former President Barack Obama's weak stance on illegal immigration, we suffered for eight years. Border Patrol and Homeland Security weren't allowed to do their job. Our very laws were neglected. Illegal immigrants were caught and released in our country. The border was practically a revolving door. That has allowed powerful drug cartels to operate freely in the United States. We're not talking about small-time drug pushers, uh, folks. There are brutal, ugly, evil groups. International criminal organizations that wreak havoc around the world. The good news is ICE has been busy. Thanks to President Trump, our national security is up. ICE has been rounding up members of these drug cartels throughout the year. They just announced they apprehended 800 members of MS-13, perhaps the worst cartel of them all. Homeland Security Investigations, HSI, agents arrested nearly 800 members of the hyper-violent transitional MS-13, transnational, excuse me, MS-13 gang, in operations carried out across the U.S. in fiscal year 2017. The arrest came as a part of an emphasis from the Department of Justice and the Department of Homeland Security that resulted in the arrest of nearly 5,000 total gang members. U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE officials reported the arrests of 4,818 criminal gang members including 796 MS-13 gang members and affiliates during uh, fiscal year 2017. The gang members were arrested for a myriad of criminal activity, including murder, extortion, narcotics and weapons trafficking, human smuggling slash trafficking and prostitution, and other crimes with a nexus to the border, officials stated. Source Breitbart. Liberals like to ignore what MS-13 and other gangs are doing. They pretend the, that undocumented immigrants are just hard-working, honest families. What they don't tell you is that weak borders allow horrible cartels and violent gangs like MS-13 to enter our country. All those innocent families, yeah, they're forced to work for groups that chop people's arms off for disobeying orders. People who want to enter the U.S. illegally are beholden to MS-13 and other gangs. Once here, they have to pay off a huge debt, which leads to things like drug smuggling and prostitution. If they don't comply, the cartel kills them, after torturing their families, of course. This kind of thing goes on all the time, but the liberal media doesn't want you to know about it. In order to keep America, as well as Mexican immigrants, safe, you have to secure the border. That means no illegal immigration of any kind. Otherwise, groups like MS-13 thrive, they exploit our weak borders, uh, safe in the knowledge that liberals will protect them. Thanks to President Trump, HSI, ICE, DOJ, and Border Patrol have been able to keep us safe, or I, I should say safer. ICE officials carried out multiple operations targeting dangerous street gangs. One of those operations, Community Shield, began more than 10 years ago in 2017. HSI agents conducted a six-week roundup of criminal illegal immigrants. The operation that ended in May led to the arrests of 1,378 gang members. Of those, 1,098 were arrested on state-slash-federal criminal charges, including 21 for murder and 7 for rape and sexual assault. 
An additional 280 were arrested for immigration violation, source Breitbart. It's in interesting uh, how the investigation started over 10 years ago under President George W. Bush, but was only finished now under President Trump. Perhaps they were stalled during the years in between. Hmm, I wonder how that could have happened. Perhaps only now uh, with, was law enforcement empowered to do their job? Once a certain somebody left office? You think? You think? Maybe? I mean, it's disgusting what's going on, but good thing we have Trump in office because had Hillary gotten in, you could just imagine what a mess it would be. If Obama made a mess, can, imagine what Hillary would have done. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.